Hope you guys brought your popcorn, because in this part of the Dust and Elysian Tale, we're going to be listening to a shit ton of lore. Let's get started. Why is Gaia so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaia sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Kind of reminds me of back when I was in high help? school. If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to drive completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Oh. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Well, that wasn't a good thing. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village! Well, what the fuck? Ah, what are these things? Dinner. Monsters! Ginger, get down! Wow, they drop a lot of items. Ow! Eat fire, motherfuckers! Oh man, that was a bag. Never mind. <sighs> That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm. I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. The stay bottom of us. this. We're going you underground. Need to get at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Okay. We'll see you then. Bye bye. And. Yeah, those don't heal for shit anymore. Hey, you got any answers? We've been attacked! Has the box been open? That depends. Did your box have a lot of flying monsters inside it? Probably. How would I know? I've never opened the box. Never. Ever. Except. Except once. I think it's what made me this way. Maybe. Okay. Well, I doubt your box had anything to do with this, Reed. Still, I'll keep my eyes open. Where the hell is that box supposed to be? Okay, so we're supposed to get on here. Huh. Hi. <laughs> well now, would you look at this? Seems our village has got itself a new basement. Well, he's always very positive and chipper. <laughs> Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Well, okay, that's one way to live your life. Promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! We'll let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword after all. Just pop some popcorn and enjoy what's about to happen. There's probably going to be a lot of hell. Quest added. Lost time. Seems concerned about her husband. Yeah, I'll check that out later. Oh my god. Another arena? Uh, I'm still hesitant. Right over here. End of the line. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. Yes, very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. There's got to be a path down below. Yeah, there well, probably is. Here goes nothing. Well, here we go, guys. Leroy Rogers. Okay. Don't look too bad. Ooh, a friend. We shall help him.
and out you come. Arise, chicken. Great, it's a duck. Everything's making sense now, everybody. Nothing this way. Let's go. The opposite way. requires a different type of item, I see. <laughs> Did you see something move up ahead? What is oh, something move? Fidget, you need to calm down. I thought you said you weren't afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the things in the dark. <laughs> Perfect I sense. Anything, Fidget. How yes, could you Fidget. possibly see anything in here with that big hat over your eyes? I hate caves. Our climb isn't meant to be underground. We should be soaring high in the wide open sky. Well, I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, hush. Well, logic. What happened with logic? I don't know what logic is. Fidget doesn't either. That worked well. Ooh, we're at chapter two. Darkness. Oh shit. That beeping noise probably is the thing I'm dragging along with me. Yes it is. And I used it before it got before it disappeared. Oh fuck yeah. Well, anyway, we'll proceed forward a little bit. We might go back to do some side quests, I don't know. I like how these caves look, it's really nice. It's getting really hard to see. I'm starting to regret coming down here. <laughs> I was regretting it minutes ago. Wow. That looks beautiful. Oh, wow. Thanks for stealing my words, beautiful. Dust. And you too! I think the villagers know about this place? Face palming. Ow. Oh shit. The search has not been in vain. Let's clear this area. Long mower of justice! Yeah, with that last fight, I think I'm going to cut it off at this save point. Just because I don't know when the next save point is going to be. After I kill these guys, I'll go back up there and I'll cut it there. Really? He's tier two? Fucking shop owners. They're fucking everywhere. Well, anyways, thank you all very, very much for watching, and tune in next time for Dust and Elysian Tale. We'll continue exploring the underground, or maybe go back up to the surface and do side quests. I don't know. See you then, guys.